guys, this is Sarah and your furry feline crafty feline friend Raven, or however I say that in the beginning of my videos. I don't like to spiel <clears throat> or splurge and spiel a whole lot because it's just a mouthful. Subscribe if you want to. Like this video if you like the content or any of my content. Please share it with others in your yarn community and your yarny friends. Uh, and other, other platforms would be great, as I do myself. Um, I want to refer you guys to the people that I've learned greatness from on YouTube. So this is the part two of my yarn haul and the current whips I'm working on. And I do have a couple of finished objects I will be showing you here at the end. I just showed you guys this magazine I will be giving away in my 500 subscriber giveaway. We just reached 100 subscribers, so I want to again say thank you so much. If I didn't say this in, my, in the part one, thank you so, so much, you guys, for subscribing to my videos, for liking my videos, for the comments that you leave. Like, seriously, it does mean a lot to me. It is true what they say in the crafting community. It does take a lot of time and effort and kindness for someone to want to sit there and make something special for someone else. Um, and when we get comments like that, and when you actually take the time to watch the videos and leave comments and subscribe and share and all that stuff, it really does mean a lot. And it makes me hopeful and more enthused about leaving more content and, and, and sharing more yarn with you guys. Um, I've done this for years. My great grandmother taught me when I was seven or eight. Uh, I had to relearn at a, at a teenager, um, as a teenager, but um, I love it. I love it. I do it every day. I you literally play, play yarn hooky every morning before I go to work. So thank you so much, guys, for subscribing. Um, I showed you the yarn from Joann's. Right after there, I went to Hobby Lobby. I swear, every time I go to Joann's and Hobby Lobby, I always buy more yarn at Joann's. Just, they have more yarn that I like for my taste. They have more coupons. Hobby Lobby went away with their coupons. I asked the cashier, and she's like, no, we went away with that. They did away with that. And I'm like, even the online coupons, they're still advertised online. No, I couldn't use coupons. There's only one thing on sale. One thing. It was a pack of stickers. <laughs> But they were llama stickers, and I'll show you that as soon as I find them. So, that's from Tuesday morning. I'll be showing you that, too. I first went to the clearance section, and I found this little um, purse strap. It has literally these multicolored hearts on it. I'm not familiar with this planning stuff, but this is literally 324, and I got it. And I always need a purse strap, and there's how you can use it. And I hope this auto light is good. I wanted to use the auto light this time to show you the true color of the yarn. Uh, these are at Hobby Lobby. $1.87. Wow. I got one for me, one for you. One for the $500. Or five, I wish I could give you $500. One for the 500 subscriber giveaway. If I could send you $500, believe me, honey, I would. I would. So one for you, one for me. <clears throat> Um, I showed you the Granny Square blanket I in one of my other videos. I picked up some more yarn. I kind of want to, but I'm not going to. I would. I was almost thinking about taking the border off, make the blanket bigger, but I'm going to make another hat with this. I'm going to make another um, Bush Trekker beanie hat in this colorway. Because it really, really does have a nice colorway. If you can see closely on that bag, it's a very small picture. When you work the colorway up in a long rectangular nature as if you're making a scarf you just go back and forth that's how the colorway works up mostly pink blue and yellow colors but it literally has every color in the rainbow in this yarn except for red it's pink orange yellow green blue purple and, and all that in between it's so gorgeous it is called purple multi it's, it's um yarn v this is from hobby lobby it is 198 yards, a four ounce skein. This yarn is made in China. You can also order it, of course, HobbyLobby.com. Oh, this yarn was copyrighted in 2015. Okay. 60% acrylic, 40% polyester. You can machine wash this in cold water, and it, um, but you do not dry. You lay the flat to dry. Uh, you can hand wash this. They say hand wash this, but you can put this in a delicate slab of cold water and I think it'll be fine. So I got five of those. 
I didn't get all of them, but I did get five because I wanted to make something substantial with my hat. So I'll probably make another scarf to, to match it or something. Uh, what else did I get from Hobby Lobby? I got this in like a, like a, what color is this? Cloud Control. I love this neutral color. A little bit of taupe linens and light gray. It's like a dove gray to me from Red Heart. It looks like the similar colorway. This is super, super soft, and it's a light number three. It's it's a low pill fiber yarn, 478 yards, man. I mean, that's that's a lot to make something substantial. It's a number three, 100% low pill acrylic, so you can machine wash this in cold water, lay flat to dry. You could probably tumble dry this for a few minutes, five to ten minutes, but it does say lay flat, which I don't mind. Trying to get you guys a good view of the yarn. I thought I think this yarn is gorgeous. So I got two of those. Princess Lena. Princess Lena. Did I say her name wrong? <laughs> I am a Star Wars fan, believe me. I just like Star Trek better. <laughs> uh, let's see. I got a few hooks because you always need hooks. Uh, let's see here. I got a four, a five, and a six, just some basic sizes. And I like these hooks because these are uh, ergonomic, ergonomic, and they have it's uh, like silicone rubber, and they grip really nicely, and they feel good in my hands, and they're long enough. I'm not sure how long they are. I could measure it, but it's definitely longer than five and a half inches. I'd say that's at least six a six inch long hook. For sure, at least. So I got those. Mm, oops. Okay, I got three of these. Oh, I got three of these. I really wanted to make sure I had enough. Okay, I got three. Uh, of course, they had some more stuff on clearance. Um, by the way, hi, Nancy from She's Got Yarn. Uh, I saw one of her videos. She got one of these shirts, and I was so jealous. I'm like, oh, my God, I wish I could get to Hobby Lobby. And yay. Got one. Nancy, we can be Twinkies. You're so cute. I got another one. I'll probably throw it in a giveaway. You can make a pillow out of it. The only thing I don't like about it is the sleeves. For me, I have big arms, and I've lost like 80 pounds within this last year from my health issues. Um, but the sleeves are just too tight for me. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut the sleeves off, probably just past the seam, and then what I'll do is I'll crochet. I'll crochet um, some trimming around it. And I'm going to do the same thing with the neck. I'm going to get some nice cotton yarn. I'm going to cut the neck off and the sleeves off. And I'll probably do the bottom too. I like the length. It goes almost just to the bottom of my butt. Um, but more than halfway down past my butt. So I like the length of the, sh of the shirt. So I can either I can either take the stitching out and I can add two inches of length to my shirt and then crochet a border on. I'm not sure yet. I could just cut it off. But this other one's probably for a giveaway. And this other shirt, they only have one in this size. This one says hashtag yarn life. I like this one. This would be a really nice sleeve shirt. So what I'll do too is I'll cut the sleeves off and I'll take some black or I'll probably take the anthrax black, the washed out black yarn, which I think would be great and I'll crochet a border around it as long as it's a nice cool yarn like cotton or something and I love the material let me, let me tell you what material it is it's so soft by the way if you don't see a tag at the neck look on the left hand side not towards the bottom it's always going to be the left hand side there's there has to be another tag it's, it t telling you how to wash it machine wash warm do not bleach tumble dry low cool iron if needed 96% polyester, and of course, 4% is other fiber that they can't tell you because it's made in China. I'm not getting on that soapbox today. Okay. What else did I get? Uh, I stopped at Target. I got a phone charger. There was a Target in my area. Here's the llama stickers. I briefly mentioned that in my last part one. 
But there's a llama stickers. There's 18 pieces, so just the one sheet. No, there's two sheets. There's two sheets. So there's a cute little llama sticker. So if I mail someone a card, or if I um, do a giveaway, I'll put a bunch of stickers on the package or something, which I thought would be cute. And then look, look, Nancy, I think you had one of these, and somebody else in their channel had one of these, and I got one too. Oh my gosh, I got one too. Ah! Yeah, I'm sorry, I'm that excited. It was originally twelve dollars, and now it's three dollars. I haven't opened it yet. I pray to dear God it's not broken. I did use the shirts and the yarn to secure this on my way home. This is so adorable. I can already see there's a little tiny bit of... No, that's the feet, though, so that's okay. This is super adorable. They had two of them, but I think the other one was damaged, unfortunately. So here's the body. It's a little tea kettle. That's super cute. Give you guys a real good nice look at it. There's the bottom. Food safe, dishwasher safe, safe, microwave safe. That's awesome. Guys, if you have a Hobby Lobby nearby and you have not gone yet, go there now. Go there soon because another week they may not have the stuff. I've been seeing people show this on, the, on their channels for the past two weeks. They may not have the stuff much longer at Hobby Lobby, but this is $3. And here's the top. So when you turn it upside down, it's a coffee cup in itself. Which I don't know if I would drink out of, but it is adorable. And there it sits. It is so adorable. To me, this would be like Granny's tea kettle. The one that you would put on display and never use. But then again, if you have if you have guests over and you want to have brunch or something, which I think would be perfect. Make some hot tea, get some cookies out, play some bridge or gin rum or something, and just have a good time. Um, I used to love doing that with my grandmother, my grandmother's best friends and her friends. We'd go over there, have chicken salad, some sweet tea. Um, we'd listen to crunchy music or, or some old tunes or whatever, and we'd sit there and crochet. We'd just talk about our projects, and we'd just talk about every other day day life stuff, you know, right? I love sitting around with people and crocheting. It would be so nice to have people locally to do that with, and I'm sure I could get that going, but with COVID and everything, and with the way my apartment looks right now, it's not completely organized, so. Not to mention I don't have a lot of space. Um, anyway, let me show you the last of what I got. The last thing that I got, well, I got that phone charger from Target. I like that they have these hanging up in the yarn aisles at Hobby Lobby. And I picked, I'm sorry, it's upside down. <laughs> I picked this up. Just some small yarn project ideas. And I wanted to sh share this with you guys. Phone cable. That's not a bad idea. You can mark territory on your phone cable charger. Like, where's my charger? I have yarn all over it. You steal my charger, it's, don't you dare cut that yarn off. Mm -mm, that's my charger. So use that yarn and hot glue it, sticker it, whatever. Claim that charger. So there's some other ideas. I thought that was really cute. Use some sticks outside for decoration. thought that was fun. So these are fun to look at. So that's pretty much all I got from... Hobby Lobby. I went to Joann's too because I've been hearing that they have yarn and they did at my store but they didn't have much. They had some beautiful super wash merino wool like heather colors like dark heather colors. They had like a dark plum purple heather. They had like a mauve green heather. They had a really nice robin, robin's egg blue heather. Oh, gorgeous colors but they didn't have enough of anything substantial enough to make anything bigger than a cow and I really wanted to make like a sweater or a Rwanda poncho with them but um, they didn't have enough and plus they were like eight dollars a skein and it was only like 109 yards each me personally I don't like paying more than three dollars for 100 yards that's me personally compared to the prices I get at iceyarns.com I think anything more than seven dollars for 100 yards is a ripoff i mean no offense unless it's good high quality yarn and the designer the maker really put lots of organic and love and and effort 
and and it's a true work of art and it's really valuable for that price then yeah by all means but that yarn to me would be for something special so I only got one thing from Tuesday morning they only had one left it was five bucks this is normally an eight dollar cake shawl on a ball which Lion brand shawl on a ball cakes did not last very long this is a number four weight, but it's a very, very thin number four. To me, this is like a thick two or, or number three. It has a halo on it. Those are gorgeous, gorgeous colors of blue, like ocean blue, a little bit of teal right in there. Gorgeous colors. Um, so it is a number four. 5.3 ounce cake, 150 grams, 481 yards, 440 meters. Machine wash, gentle, lay flat to dry. 58% cotton, 39% acrylic, 30% other fiber, which I believe might be, well, I would say metallic lyrics, but it does not have any metallic lyrics in it. It's not sparkly at all. But I did order a pack of I think it's called Mohair Pearl Yarn, and it has sparkle. It's a number one fine weight yarn, and it has sparkle in it, like an opal sparkle. And I think I'll add this with it. This will be like a nice beach shawl. Oh my God. I will work that in with this together. Two strands is one. That'll be gorgeous. I also got some, oh, one broke. Man, that's a shame. I paid 17 cents for this and for, for one. For these in one broke. I could probably super glue it. Maybe. Maybe not. That's okay though. These I bought to replace on a dresser, a small dresser chest that it, it used to be my grandmother's before she passed away. And I have it here now and I keep craft stuff in it. It's here in my yarn studio. And I need nine pieces. They only had five, so I was gonna do like a checker pattern, one in the middle, one in four corners, then I was going to get four different knobs to, you know, one crossways. Um, but one just broke, so I may not be able to use it. So I can get five of something else, but I really do like these. I think they're pretty. And they would match the, ch the chest pretty well. So I need to be careful with those and, yeah, keep them up till I'm ready to use them. Okay, so that's pretty much everything that I bought. Now, as far as my finished objects, you saw my you saw my um, bush tracker beanie, the original one that I made. I made this using Red Heart yarn. Red Heart, I love. Um, I don't. I didn't actually have Red Heart on it. It says I love this yarn, which I bought from Hobby Lobby. It's called Tin Roof. I showed you that in one of my other videos. I made another one using, um, uh, let's see, Red Heart Unforgettable. What do you guys think of this one? Huh? Huh? Pretty colorful. So I used, I have the label here. No, I'm sorry, this is Lion Brand Landscapes. I used Landscape Yarn. You can use Red Heart Unforgettable, but it's number three, and this one is a number four weight. And Crystal from Bag of Day, her pattern calls for a number four weight yarn. Now this one's called Boardwalk Promenade. That's the color I used. Kind of a rainbowy color. Uh, 3.5 ounce skein, 100 grams, 147 yards, 134 meters. So I didn't have quite enough yarn to make this hat, which is why I did some gray in the middle. And the gray yarn I used... I don't have it here. I'm going to run out of time if I go back and get it. It's a package that I bought from Ice Yarns. Uh, it's a f it's a pack of eight. It was $5 for the package. I will try to have that linked in the, de in the description box below too. I will at least have the, the, the um, Ice Yarns website linked down there. Um, but I just used one cake of this. You can machine wash this. Gentle cycle, lay flat to dry. So I'll machine wash this gentle cycle and I can lay flat to dry. So what I did was the last hat, same yarn all the way through, right? The sides are bulky though with a herringbone stitch. 
So what I did with this was, this is a number four weight, number four weight, this is a number three weight. What I also did was, if you look closely, I added another strand of gray with the landscape's yarn, and it adds a little bit of sparkle. Can you see the sparkle? Can you see the sparkle? So I wanted to um, mix it up and make it look cool, and I also trimmed it with single crochet with the gray in the bottom. So this is 100% acrylic, but it is a roving yarn. It is not like this twisted acrylic yarn at all. This is like the best yarn to, to begin learning on. But this is a roving style yarn. Uh, do I have any scraps of roving yarn I can show you? No, I do not. Let me see, do I have any roving yarn? I don't have any rubbing yarn, I apologize, but a rubbing yarn is very, very different. Very, very different than this yarn. You can see that ha this has a nice twist on it. Rubbing yarn doesn't have that. It's just one big giant twist, one big giant smooth twist all the way down. And when you pull on it, you take a small section and pull on it, you can pull a little bit of fiber out. Just a little bit of fiber out. On this one, you can't because it's twisted more tightly it doesn't do that. So with this roving yarn, it has a tendency to felt up more, even though it doesn't have wool in it, but it does have the potential to felt. So that's why they um, say delicate wash or hand wash and lay flat to dry. Whereas this one, you can machine wash and machine dry. So there's a little bit, a bit of knowledge on yarn for you there. Um, I also wanted to give you guys a tip. When you do have to hand wash things, and it is an inconvenience, especially when you have to walk to a laundromat to do your, to do your yarn. Um, you can use one of these. You can get this from Walmart or Big Lots, or you can order it online, I'm sure. It's just a big tote bin, pretty much. This is an 18 quart, 17 liter. The typical standard size is like either a 14, or 15 liter tote bin. And I love these. I keep these underneath my kitchen sink to keep all my cleaning supplies in. So if I need to quickly clean out from underneath the sink due to a leak or a spill or whatever, I don't have to take a bunch of little crap out. I can just move these bins right on out and then there, my under the sink is empty. So I keep two of these underneath my bathroom sink and I keep two of these underneath my kitchen sink. All my cleaning supplies, extra bathroom toiletries in this, and so if I have a drainage issue, all my stuff's out. Okay, clean, clean it up, please. Fix it. And then I just pop my stuff right back in. And then I keep this one empty. I may store stuff in it, but nothing that I don't mind dumping out, so I can use this for hand washing my yarn stuff. And it's nice and roomy. Make sure you have enough room, and it's nice and tall on the height, too. So I can put two gallons of water in here, approximately two gallons of water and won't have any spills. Um, so when you hand wash something, you can use dishwashing soap, you can use hand washing soap, you can use your actual liquid laundry det detergent soap, whatever you want to use. I use the little laundry pad pockets because they're so um, more convenient. So I just use dish soap or hand soap, and to me, soap is soap. As long as it gets clean, I don't care. And as long as it smells good and it doesn't make my skin itchy, I don't care. So swish it around, lukewarm, cool water, let it sit for 20, 30 minutes, rinse it out a couple times. Don't wring it, but squeeze it. Just squeeze it down the line. Roll it up in a towel a couple of times. Let it hang up to dry overnight from your shower pole or from a clothes rod. Bam! You didn't spend any money except using water, honey, and a little drop of soap to get that thing clean. So, and then I also checked my mailbox and I got this in the mail from Hershner's. I started ordering from Hershner's in January and I love them. Here's the back of the magazine. Some of their stuff. So this is a really, really great magazine. You can go to Hershner's website and you can request this for free. F-R-E-E. -E. And they send you a coupon code. Yes, they sent me, I think, it was either 15 or 20% off with the first catalog I got in the mail. 
And then they sent me a second catalog with the next season, and I had another 20% off coupon. Yay. I'm looking for a coupon code in this one. Oh, look at this. A little baby hooded towel. Look at that. That's so cute. All those color choices. Oh, so great. So great. So they literally show you, literally show you everything in here that is available on their website. And I don't see any coupon codes, which is fine. But I'm always happy to place another order. Because they're so great. Yep. So anyways, I wanted to show you that. And see there's some more colors and some project ideas. And just pretty. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. Okay, and then my final tip is about ice yarns. Um, I will have a link in the description box below for how to navigate the Ice Yarns website. Krista from um, The Secret Yarny, she's great about that. There are certain areas on the website that you can click on if you are looking for a specific type of yarn. And there are easy menu options that you can click on to narrow down your search. So I wanted to share with you my tip on ordering. Two tips. Go with your budget, right? Half your budget is going to go towards shipping, but they express the shipping and you will literally have it at your door within a week. If you live in the States, if you live outside of the States, it'll probably take another few days, but they still have really, really great fast shipping. I ordered like a $400 box on Thursday night when I got my direct deposit from payday. Three and a half days later on Monday morning, it was sitting at my door. I woke up at like 10 a.m. I slept in a little bit and it was just sitting at my door I'm like hey I'm I'm here I'm like, what so it's possible my yarn order of almost $300 could be here on Monday morning but it may not be here till Tuesday or Wednesday it depends on how long it goes through customs so when ordering go to their closeout yarn section towards the end of your shopping Check out their clearance, their daily deals, their promotions, their, their closeout yarns. Their closeout yarns, once they are out, they are out. Those yarns will not be coming back. So make sure you buy enough for anything substantial. Buy at least 2,000 yards if you think you might want to make something big. Buy at least 1,200 yards if you think you'll make a shawl or a small lap blanket. Buy at least, buy at least 1,000 yards. That's my suggestion. Buy at least 1,000 yards of, of whatever you think you're going to make. Um, those filler yarns are $3 a package, $2.99. So your typical search will say $0.37 cents on a pitcher of yarn. That's $2.99 per package, eight balls of yarn. So use those filler yarns to fill up your cart. Sometimes it'll jump up to, to another $3. Sometimes it'll jump up to another $10. Um, that's kind of trial and error. You just gotta, kind of got to go on there and, and see what you can fit in. To see what the minimum is that they will raise their shipping on. So I have some examples. I've done several orders. So I spent $50.91 on this one particular order and it was 22 balls. That's that's each package of eight, each package of four, each package of two, whatever I ordered. 22 balls in total. $50.91 is the cost of the yarn and the shipping. So I didn't buy much in this order. $2.31 per ball was value was what that whole deal was valued at. Another order I did. $182.79. 78 balls plus three hooks. So that's pretty much 81 pieces or 81 balls of yarn. $2.26 per ball. Thank you very much. Here's another one I did. $141.83. 60 balls of yarn. $2.36 per ball. Okay, the largest order I've done. $412.54. 248 balls. Guess how much I paid for each ball of yarn. $412.54. 248 balls of yarn. You won't, you won't, you'll never guess. How much did I pay for each ball of yarn with that order? It definitely wasn't two dollars. One dollar sixty-seven cents. Here's all my math. I have chicken scratch. I know. I apologize. There's one I didn't mention. 
14381 60 balls 236 each did i mention that order $182.79 yeah i did mention that order 78 balls of yarn plus 3 hooks 226 each including the 3 hooks 226 each and that's with the shipping guys so these are just examples of the value of the yarn that you are getting with depending on how much money you are willing to spend companies do this and it's great because the more money you spend 400 plus dollars a dollar 67 per ball of yarn that's amazing I'm paying less than three dollars a ball of yarn regardless of how much I order because I will never order less than fifty dollars at a time not anymore because other than that the shipping is just ridiculous and the value isn't as good so when you place an order with ice yarns you really need to have a little pocket change you want to save up your money a little bit and you want to order at least a couple hundred dollars at least a hundred to start with so you can pick some of your yarns see if you like the yarns at first start with two packs to me having those three dollar packages of the filler yarns in there makes it much closer to approximating you're paying for ten dollars a bag of yarn the cost of the yarn with the shipping so if I don't have any filler yarns in there and my all my bags of yarn are like six dollars and up I got a bag for $9.99 I got a bag for $11.99 I got a bag for $7.99 I got a bag for $8.99 whatever if I don't have any bags of yarn for $2.99 I'm gonna be paying at least another $30 so ten dollars per bag plus another thirty dollars or another twenty dollars you see what i mean so add in a few bags of something that's two ninety nine and the and the more yarn you you fill up with with those three dollar bags the closer you will be to spending um ten dollars per bag of yarn and that's a better value so right before you check out and put your credit card number in go ahead and do your calculations Take the grand total of the yarn and the shipping. Calculate how many balls you are getting. If you're adding any hooks, that's a ball of yarn. If you're getting a hook set, that's, I would say, 10 balls of yarn. If you're getting a mixed lot, I calculated that to be 18 balls of yarn because I had six balls of yarn in each bag. So a mixed lot, they literally show you the exact picture of what you're getting, which is what was accurate with the two mixed lots of Harmony yarn that I got. Those are in some of my other unboxing videos. Um, but see, that's what I mean. Um, so i got to wrap it up now, guys. Um, I'm getting to 33 minutes. So thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Keep the love going, guys. Keep the love spreading. Um, comment any suggestions if you have. I'm sorry Raven wasn't uh, present this time. She's doing her own thing, and she's... I keep the blinds...